Hi everybody, welcome to another quick session of Q&A with Adam K. Today's question comes 21 hours ago from Jordan Melan. Jordan asks, I need an image that when you click on it, it changes the image. There are plenty of code online, but I need one that switches back to the previous image. None of them do that. Here's the idea. Image 1 on click change to image 2. Image 2 on click change back to image 1. Can it be done in JavaScript? I had something like this. Okay, Jordan, I've taken your exact code and I just changed the image file names to match images that are in my folder or on my server. So let's see what I get when I test this in the browser. I get my image 1, but when I click it, my image 2 doesn't come into place. Now what we're going to do here is go up into the uh, function and you can always debug values using alert or console.log. So what we'll do is we'll debug this value right here. And we're also going to shorten all this so we're not calling document.getElementById so much in there. But we're going to alert the source. Let's run that again. Click it. Now you can see the source is to the full path of the image on the server. So that's why it's never going to match. The source is never going to equal this because there's that whole string there. Okay, so let's remove that alert. And actually what we're going to do is we're going to go into where we're calling the change image function and we're just going to put this that way we can reference this object within this function then within the function we can just put img here now the first line within the function we're going to get the image file name only by using the split method and then popping the last element array off and that'll give us just the image file name from this image object so we access the source the full string of the path and then we split it and then pop it now we just say if image file is equal to image one, then we say image dot source img the img object which is coming in dynamically through this here, and then we can remove that and just put img there as well. img save everything and then run that. Now when I click the image, image two comes into place, and then when I click it again, image one comes back in, and it just revolves like that. Now the reason why yours wasn't working was because you had the full path, you were evaluating the full path here to see if it matched just the file name. So really you have to get the file name out of the full path and then try to match that. And you can remove all that document that get element by ID stuff just by putting this right here. And then your function will have a reference to this image object dynamically. Alright Jordan, I hope that answers your question and gives you what you need to proceed. And it looks like you're changing a play and pause button. So you would just put your play and pause PNG image uh, references back in this source code here. And here. You know what to do with it now.